Good morning. Our opening song is Send Us Your Spirit, number 452. Come, Lord Jesus, send us your spirit. Renew the face of the earth. Come, Lord Jesus, send us your spirit. Renew the face of the earth. Come to us, Spirit of God, breathe in us now. We sing together, Spirit of hope and of light, fill our lives. Come to us, Spirit of God. Come, Lord Jesus, send us your Spirit. Renew the face of the earth. Come, Lord Jesus, send us your Spirit. Renew the face of the earth. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the grace and peace of God our Father, the love of Jesus, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with all of you. And with your spirit. <clears throat> Today we come to celebrate, you know, Thursday in the season of Easter, but it is also a day that we remember Our Lady of Fatima, and she is venerated under this title following the apparitions to three shepherd children in Portugal in 1917. The message of Fatima includes a call to conversion of heart, repentance from sin, and prayer, especially the rosary. As we gather, let us call to mind our sins as we prepare to celebrate these sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who made your people partakers in your redemption, grant, we pray, that we may perpetually render thanks for the resurrection of the Lord, who lives and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Paul left Athens and went to Corinth. There he met a Jew named Aquila, a native of Pontus, who had recently come from Italy with his wife Priscilla, because Claudius had ordered all the Jews to leave Rome. He went to visit them, and because he practiced the same trade, stayed with them and worked, for they were tent makers by trade. Every Sabbath he entered into discussion in the synagogue, attempting to convince both Jews and Greeks. When Silas and Timothy came down from Macedonia, Paul began to occupy himself totally with preaching the word testifying to the Jews that the Christ was Jesus. When they opposed him and reviled him, he shook out his garments and said to them, Your blood be on your heads. I am clear of responsibility. From now on, I will go to the Gentiles. So he left there and went to a house belonging to a man named Titus Justus, a worshiper of God. His house was next to a synagogue. Crispus, the synagogue official, came to believe in the Lord along with his entire household, and many of the Corinthians who heard believed 
and were baptized. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord has revealed to the nations his saving power. The Lord has revealed to the nations his saving power. Sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done wondrous deeds. His right hand has won victory for him, his holy arm. The Lord has revealed to the nations his saving power. The Lord has made his salvation known. In the sight of the nations, he has revealed his justice. He has remembered his kindness and his faithfulness toward the house of Israel. The Lord has revealed to the nations his saving power. All the ends of the earth have seen the salvation by our God. Sing joyfully to the Lord, all you lands. Break into song, sing praise. The Lord has revealed to the nations his saving power. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. I will not leave you orphans, says the Lord. I will come back to you, and your hearts will rejoice. Alleluia, Alleluia. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said to his disciples, A little while, and you will no longer see. And again, a little while later, and you will see me. So some of his disciples said to one another, What does this mean that he is saying to us? A little while and you will not see me, and again a little while and you will see me, and because I am going to the Father. So they said, What is this little while of which he speaks? We do not know what he means. Jesus knew that they wanted to ask him what Jesus knew that they wanted to ask him so he said to them are you discussing with one another what i said a little while and you will not see me and again a little while and you will see me amen amen i say to you you will weep and mourn while the world rejoices you will grieve but your grief will become joy. The Gospel of the Lord. We might think that Jesus is just talking about his own day for the apostles that they would see him in a short time. But as we have come these many centuries since then, we still are waiting. We still hold the expectant faith that Jesus will come back a second time. But until then, we truly need to concentrate on what it means to live for the kingdom of heaven. That is, that we desire to receive the grace of the Lord, that we live a life of holiness, that our relationships are not based on selfishness, but on charity. I mean, there's just whole, so many statements that we can say that will keep our hearts alive in Christ Jesus, but also we realize that we are not a part of this world and that there are aspects of this world in its selfishness, 
whether it be personal, whether it be business, whether it be national, whether it be, and you name the section of people that you might want to address, but there is that basic, I'm not going to believe in Jesus. I'm going to believe in what I want to have happen, and I will bring it about. We truly understand that we cannot bring about the kingdom of heaven without Jesus. So we truly need for him to come a second time to bring us along that pathway to the kingdom. And as we heard in that opening statement about Our Lady of Fatima's appearance, we come to realize that it is a great task to continue to focus all of who we are, all of what we do, all of what our relationships involve along that pathway towards praying the rosary for a grace to be a part of each of the experiences of our life, to live a life of penance. Now that, as I've said before, doesn't mean to be a great sackcloth and ashes experience. It can be calling a friend during time of crisis. It can be making a dessert for a neighbor. It may be praying the rosary. It may be, and you fill in the blank. There are many different ways in which we can offer penance for the sinfulness of the world. But there is also that need to invite others, as Paul did in whatever fashion he could, whether it was to the Jews or whether it was to the Gentiles. He spoke, Jesus Christ crucified and risen, that people's hearts might not just only be based on the earth, but be focused on the kingdom of heaven. So may we find our joy in Jesus. May we grieve the sinfulness that is present in the world, especially rooted in selfishness, and ask the Lord for his mercy. May we place our intentions before the Lord as we pray. We pray that we truly may be disciples of our Lord Jesus, following him uh, during our time on earth, as participate in his life in the kingdom. We pray to the Lord. We pray that we might be examples of grace-filled relationship to Jesus, to, <laughs> to others, <laughs> to others that they might be inspired to live with Jesus in their own life, we pray to the Lord. We pray for those who are in situations of evil that really turn people away from God, that there might be a conversion to the Lord, we pray to the Lord. We pray for those who are unemployed that they truly may find work uh, to support themselves and their families, we pray to the Lord. We pray for our children that they may grow to really discover their talents and be able to contribute those talents to our community as they become adults, we pray to the Lord. We pray for all of those with mental disease that they truly may find a way to bring health and well-being to themselves, we pray to the Lord. We pause to add our own intentions in silence. We pray to the Lord. We pray for all who have died, especially for Ed and Claire Steinberger, we pray to the Lord. Loving and gracious God, we place our lives into your hands, 
Help us to grow in your ways of grace and compassion. We ask our prayer through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, our Heavenly Father. May our prayers rise up to you, O Lord, together with the sacrificial offerings, so that purified by your graciousness, we may be conformed to the mysteries of your mighty love, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time above all, to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ, our Passover, has been sacrificed. He never ceases to offer himself for us, but defends us, and even pleads our cause before you. He is the sacrificial victim who dies no more, the lamb once slain who lives forever. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread and gave it to his disciples saying, 
Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread, <laughs> this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with this Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May the sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world, be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis our Pope and David our Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world to our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and form of divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with all of you. Let us offer one another a sign of peace.
Lamb of God. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, who restore us to eternal life in the resurrection of Christ, increase in us, we pray, the fruits of this Paschal Sacrament and pour into our hearts the strength of this saving food through Christ our Lord. May we pray for our seminarian, Michael Jansikowski. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. We pray the prayer to St. Joseph. Good St. Joseph, as you led the Holy Family, watch over our families. Help our family and all families to know and share God's love. In our family relationships, may we find healing and seek to be holy. May our fathers help us to become faithful disciples of Jesus, who share our love for him. As foster father of Jesus, watch over all who serve as spiritual fathers. In a special way, bless our Holy Father, our bishop, and our priests. May they follow your humble example and their fatherly care for the people of God, the church. With Mary, you raised Jesus, the high priest. You know our need for priests. Please raise up good and holy priests from our families to serve the people of our diocese. May our children and grandchildren hear and say yes to the call of Jesus, just as you and Mary did. Good St. Joseph, pray for us. We pray the prayer to St. Michael. St. Michael, the archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the heavenly host, by the power of God, thrust into hell Satan and the other evil spirits who prowl about the world for the ruin of souls. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, go forth in peace to love and serve the Lord. Number 452. Come, Lord Jesus, send us your Spirit. Renew the face of the earth. Come, Lord Jesus, Send out your spirit, renew the face of the earth. Fill us with the fire of your love, burn in us now. Bring us together, come to us, dwell in us, change our lives, O Lord. Come to us, Spirit of God. Come, Lord Jesus, send out your spirit, renew the face of the earth. Come, Lord Jesus, send out your spirit, renew the face of the earth.